What's up, God? This is a Swim Flame reading for October 3rd. Um, October 2nd is the day that I'm reading the energy of the reading in the evening. Not necessarily the day that it'll resonate on the 2nd or the 3rd. Could be futuristic energy. Could be energy that we need to act on. It could be energy that we need to learn from, from events that's happening or happened in the past. Um, so take it as it resonates, as it, as it pertains to content and as it pertains to timing. Tarot is a three-way street, me, you, and spirit, all intuitively coming together to deliver a message that we resonate with that can lead us to more light, more life, understanding, confirmation, whatever we need at the time. Could just be informing us of the energetic flow of the cosmos and what's happening and how we can act with the energy. Today, um, October 3rd, well today, October 2nd, we have... Pluto ending its retrograde, um, Pluto being the planet of transformation, um, and um, it's like we have an energetic shift. Because Pluto is now going direct, we can expect to take the necessary actions, critical and vital actions towards our transformations, towards our manifestations, towards our, um, you know, it's kind of like... And Kabbalah, Kabbalah.com, they say it's kind of like walk the talk energy. Time for us to do the walking based on the energy and the um, transformation that we had in Pluto retrograde. Um, October 3rd is Mercury is moving into the sign of Scorpio. And we are advised to pay close attention to how we communicate with each other. So if you find yourself getting angry, if you find yourself on the other end of someone else's anger, or if you find yourself um, in confrontation, just remind yourself it's energy. It's Some people are highly affected by the energy, and you don't want yourself to be highly affected by the energy. So try to keep composure, speak with love, speak with light. Know that we are not here as light workers to harm each other, that we're here to uplift each other. So keep that in mind and communicate with love, communicate with light and mind. And, and, and keep in mind that other people may not be informed or in control of their energies as well. Um, twin flame, twin flame, twin flame. It's about freedom. It's about unification of dualities within yourself. So as I read, take it as it resonates as it pertains to your partnership, but also learn when the different energies are referring to you. So if you were, if you identify as a divine feminine, but some of the stuff that I'm saying about the masculine resonates with you personally, I could be speaking to the masculine aspect of yourself. So, you know, we're spiritual beings and we're in tune with that spirituality, especially if you're watching these readings, you probably are. But our masculine, we may not be putting the necessary action in. So spirit could be speaking on the masculine aspect of ourselves needing to put in more work to become one with our shadow as well, our feminine and masculine selves. Today was definitely a tough day for me. You know, I just, I, you know, I took this twin flame journey, not just twin flame, this spiritual journey for freedom. And I just feel like I am less free than I have been since I started this journey as it pertains to my money being tied up, as it pertains to my relationships being tied up, and as it pertains to my life being tied up. So it was a tough one for me. And I guess this is me, you know, in the energy, recognizing the things that need to change and what I need to do and, and putting forth feet to action to get out of bondage. So spiritually, I got out of bondage mentally you know i have work to do but i'm getting out of bondage and i need to physically get out of bondage as well because my physical bondage is is impeding upon my mental bondage so if i'm out of bondage mentally but physically i'm still in bondage it you know it impedes upon that it, it reverts me back to it because that's how it is when you, sight has a way computer is messing up but sight has a way of taking over our minds so we have to maintain control but time to put foot to action to manifest our goals so two two oh man this is a lot i don't know if i want to take all of this i don't know if i want to take all of this okay mm -hmm. oh man I set up for myself up for reading, reading, huh? This one's going to be a bit difficult. So we have the 
nine on the bottom of the deck. When I see nines, excuse me. Ooh, I hope I didn't transfer that yarn to you. When I see nines, it's divine feminine energy that I resonated with. Like divine blessings could also be philanthropy, could also be um, inner work. But nines are, is the number of blessings, divine blessings, spiritual blessings and gifts. And also the number I resonate with the feminine. So we have oh, adjustments are required. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. This could be reading my energy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me grow my channel. If I resonate with you in any way, or if you just want to help me grow my channel, click like, share, and comment. Um, and also, order a private reading if it helps you. So we have adjustments are required. The answers you need are coming. Look at the bigger picture. We have two for verse two. Hmm. We have two draw twos here. So, oh my God, we have four, 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 four. Usually when I see the draw twos, I think of doubling up. Um, yeah, I think harmony for green as well. The green, I think money, finances, but I also think earth energy and being in harmony with spirit. And I, I'm thinking double up as well. So it could be masculine and feminine energies, um, doubling up on spirituality or doubling up financially as well or needing to double up. I know I need to double up. But then we have the reverse here. And the two as well. Blues that resonate with communication. This one is going to be hard to decipher the message. I ain't going to lie. Red is materials. Okay, yeah. Needing to put in the hard work and dedication towards our goals. Yellow, I resonate that with spirit. And we have another nine here. A green nine. All right, so it could be some work that we need to put in. I honestly do not feel like adding up these numbers to see the numerological message, but I guess I can. So let's see, two, four, nine, 11, 19, plus zero, 19, 23, 25, 32, 5, the number of change, 3s and 2s, um, the number of working with spirit, working, the number of synergetic results. So the fact that we're getting synergetic results and we're getting a lot of double ups, it could be working together, masculine and feminine energies working together to bring upon change, to bring upon, to make a difference. So this could be about the masculine and feminine aspects of ourselves coming together to make a difference and to make a change in our lives, in the lives of others, as it pertains to energy, as it pertains to finances, as it pertains to our foundations. The red cards add up to, let's see, 12, 14, 5 as well. Yeah, to make a change in our financial structure, to make a change in our lives. Perhaps we find ourselves looking back at something here. It's like you you want to double up here. Sorry, you can't see all of this. It's like wanting to increase in your life as it pertains financially and as it pertains to energy and as it pertains to like being in harmony with life. Wanting more harmony, wanting more balance, wanting to be in the flow of the energy, the um, flow of the universe, wanting to double up in life, but having a hard time, but communicating kind of like the reverse message. With this reversing in this two here, it's like wanting something, but it's like cognitive dissonance. Wanting something, but having negative energy and thoughts as it pertains to the opposite or communicating. You know, like the law of attraction, when you, it's like what you speak, you speak it into existence. Like if your kid does something stupid and you call your kid stupid, it's like instead of them being smart, you're kind of manifesting them being stupid. It's like that. It's like wanting to do better in life, wanting to double up in life, wanting more money and more life, but 
but communicating the reverse message. So this could be a lesson for us and what we do and how we communicate with ourselves. Watch the energy you put out there or watch the words that you speak upon your life. I This could be for me too because today I've been communicating like I feel like I'm in bondage. I really do like all aspects of my life and I could be putting that energy out there instead of manifesting freedom, instead of manifesting more life here with this um, draw to, I'm manifesting the opposite. I'm, I'm communicating and manifesting the opposite. And it could be kind of like masculine and feminine energies. It's kind of like wanting something but manifesting the opposite in the partnership as well. So it's like really wanting to be in a, a relationship or partnership with your twin flame but saying you don't want to. Wanting to come together. I'm still here. Sorry, guys, if you can't see. Wanting to come together with your twin flame, but communicating the opposite. Like physically saying, physically communicating the opposite of what you really want. So we need to be honest with ourselves and others about what we really want. Again, um, I don't, did I tell you guys? October 3rd is about communication. Mercury moving into the sign of Scorpio. Communication. So if someone is coming towards you with some communication Think of it as opposite day. It's going to be like opposite day. So if they're communicating with you, like if they're saying they want to come together, again, because this is saying something that you want to manifest, draw to you wanting to come together with this connection, but communicating the opposite, if someone does that to you today, it could be the energy. It could be Mercury uh, moving into Scorpio, confusing them. It's like communicating the wrong message. Yeah, five is a number of change. You want to change as it pertains to your financial situation, but also as it pertains to grounding or, or being grounded in your life, being rooted, strong foundations. Yeah, wanting a solid foundation and change in your in your life. So then we have here actual manifestations. I love it. I love it. Okay, this is a different message here. I'm glad I read this like this because it was overwhelming that all of those came out but now broke, breaking it down I'm, I'm getting a different message this is actual double up in your life this is like uh, red is number of materials so this is gaining access to some type of resources people places and things that elevates you eight is the number of spiritual elevation it's the number of forgiveness. It's the number of blessings or resurrection or renewal or restoration. So this is being restored, bringing you full circle because 8 plus 2 is 10 as well. Ending this cycle, being restored and renewed and growth materially. So this is material blessings. And then you have zero here, which amplifies it. It's like being materially blessed on divine levels. The divine working in your life, God, your angels, and your guides working in your life to amplify your blessings. Like, take it to the next level that no human can take it to. Blessing you immensely, bringing you, completing this cycle with you being immensely blessed. Again, doubling up materially and resurrecting and renewal, restoring everything that you lost time to. It's like times two, times infinity, you know, with like divine manifestations and blessings. Providing and bringing you to a solid foundation. Four is a solid foundation in life, but it's also union. Manifesting this union, manifesting this connection, manifesting unions of your masculine feminine energies internally as well. So we go from here. So we, we go from here to wanting something but communicating the opposite to changing that. So you start changing what you put out there in the universe. You start communicating more positive actions and more positive thoughts and more positive changes and it starts to actually manifest so even when we're in this energy where we feel like we're in bondage or we feel negative or we feel hurt or we feel drained or we feel tired we have to communicate the opposite it's like i say i don't i, I always i don't like lying to myself if i feel tired i say i'm tired but i have to revert i have to re realize that what i put out there is what manifests so if i'm tired i'm next now i'm just gonna say i'm gonna say opposite day so if I'm tired, I'm going to say, I have so much energy to get the work done that I need to get done. If I feel in bondage, I'm so free. It's like putting the energy out there that you want to manifest because we know that it's coming. We know that when we do that, it changes our lives on immense levels and provide a solid foundation. 
Then we have here. Yes. With the two and a nine. With the first of all, with the draw two and the yellow, I'm thinking increased spirit, increased action of spirit in our lives or increased spiritual awareness, spiritual enlightenment. But remember, a nine plus two is 11 as well, which is elevation, spirit, elevating spiritually, uh, enlightenment, growth spiritually, um, abundance, spiritual abundance. So it's like being abundantly blessed. And this is money too. It's like spirit working on our behalf to bless us abundantly as it pertains to finances, but as it pertains to um, our spiritual presence. So this could be leveling up in the spirit realm, this leveling up spiritually, growing spiritually, and also financially as well because we leveled up spiritually. So we can expect material blessings here and spiritual blessings here. But first we start here, this much needed change in the way that we communicate to ourselves and the way that we communicate to each other because these are twos and there's no coincidence that those are twos and twos is a number of partnership. So it's like... Um, be careful how we communicate with our partners as well because the energy we put out there is what we're going to manifest. So don't say things like, I can never, this partnership will never come together. Well, I don't believe in this partnership anymore or I don't feel connected anymore. Opposite day, say the opposite. I believe this partnership will come together. It's not about being foolish, but it's about manifesting the energy you want to manifest. I believe in this partnership. I love this person, this person loves me. We're coming together in divine timing. I trust the timing. Like, put the positive energy out there, knowing that it's manifesting. And it's probably manifesting at infinite, you know, on a high level, on the, a more alert level, because there's a lot of spiritual presence here. But here and here, I can see there's a lot of spiritual presence. And we have these two nines here, the number of divine blessings. So expect to be blessed. Adjustments are required. The answers you need are coming. Yes, yes, yes. So here, with adjustments are required, that's exactly what this is saying. Here is the adjustment. We need to make an adjustment in the way that we communicate with each other and the way that we communicate with ourselves. Perfect timing for October 3rd, Mercury moving into Scorpio, knowing that communication is key on this day. Be very careful with how, in the manner that you communicate with each other because this is manifest. This is manifesting. It's manifesting. The answers you need are coming. Trust in divine timing. Trust in, um, and I want to read some of it as well, full moon and Gemini. Trust in, I think though, before I even read it, I think it's just saying the answers you need are coming. When you manifest it, in the, what you speak into existence, it manifests. Um, it's going to manifest. Yeah. Didn't I just say, let me just read the first line. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth. But remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you need will come soon. The issue you're facing could be one or few conversations away from being resolved. Yes, 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 yes. And then I'll just say this, just for the sake of it being October 3rd, and we know that Mercury moving in Scorpio and the communication is key. I'll keep reading. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to remind you that the least said, the soonest mended. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing any issues with your words. Words have enormous power. As metaphysician, metaphysician Florence Scovel Shin put it, Your word is your wand. You create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. How the fuck did I just do that with Uno cards? This Basically, is what I just said here. I amaze myself sometimes. I'm not even trying to <laughs> toot my own horn, but that, I deserve a clap for that. I just did that with Uno cards. Bruh. One day, I like using cards. So some people can speak into your life and prophetically speak to you without any cards. I like using cards, though. I wouldn't mind having the ability to do that as well, 
but I, I like working with cards. So let's pull some tarot, let's see what we have. High Priestess, Five of Pentacles. I've been getting this message a while, and it's basically saying look at it from a higher point of view, a different perspective. Then we have the Two of Pentacles here now. It could be asking us to find balance in the way that we spend. But to look at it from a different perspective, instead of the perspective on a physical reality, for example, me putting my money into my business and, and experiencing that because all of my resources are tied up into my business, I could tell myself, I could be like, I can... In the physical reality, I can loathe in being broke, or I can look at it from a higher perspective. Yes, maybe I have lack, I'm experiencing lack now, but six months from now, that's 20000 that would have been invested into my business, and my business would be 20000 stronger than it is right now. You know, it just, just looking at it from a higher perspective and knowing that it's going to work out, and just, it's pain endured for a night, weakness endured for the night. Weeping endure for the night, but joy coming in the morning. So yeah, it's just saying, look, change your perspective. Make better decisions, but change your perspective from a, a higher perspective. So if it's this partnership, if things are not working out, change the perspective. Why is this happening? Well, maybe it's happening so that I can learn. Maybe it's happening so that he can learn. So it's asking us to look at it from a different point of view. Four of Cups, Page of Wands. Interesting. And then we have the Chariot right on the bottom. Page of Cups and Four of Wands. Um, Page of Page of Wands is investments. Page of Wands can be inaction as well. Page of Wands is inspiration. Um, Four of Cups can be rejection. Four of Cups can be influx and opportunities. Uh, but what I'm getting here is, oh, excuse me, drinking, don't judge me, I'm drinking Coca-Cola. So, but anyway, page of wands could be things not moving and you, and you feel rejected. So it could be like something not moving forward, like this partnership not coming forward. But you feeling rejected because of that. But with the chariot on the bottom after I pulled that, it's like, oh, it's maybe it's saying it will move forward soon. But I think this is just a feeling of inadequacy or re feeling rejected because things aren't manifesting as quickly or moving forward. Things aren't moving. Your investments aren't moving as quickly as you would like for them to be moving. This could be, I know I resonate with it, but it could also be as it pertains, it could be business or this partnership or life. We'll keep pulling. Temperance. Patience. Temperance and the Three of Cups. I think this is just basically saying be patient and things will manifest soon. It will all come together soon. This could be you celebrating with your friends. This could be you coming together with a partner, with customers, with soul honoring connections. But this is just saying be patient. The stuff that's not moving right now will move. And I think this is the higher perspective that they're asking us to look at. Remain patient. Remain calm. Things will come together soon. Or when they should. <sighs> I might make this message not um, long today. We have the tower and the devil. Two major arcanas together. Mm. You know, I was speaking of being in bondage earlier. This devil card popping up. It could be major changes that happens in our life. And this is the two of um, swords right on the bottom of the deck. Major changes freeing us from bondage or freeing us from this stagnant energy. But I want to pull some. 
clarifying cards. This is my clarifying deck. To clarify this, um, Tower and Devil. Let's clarify the Tower and Devil Spirit. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. <clears throat> things popping out the world, things popping out Knight of Pentacles, things popping out judgment. Yep, okay. But I'm gonna, I don't wanna, I wanna take, I want less than that, so I'm going to shuffle more and see what comes out. Thank you, spirit. Oh, yeah. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Certainly new beginnings, a breakthrough, um, clarity. If what comes in is freeing us from this bondage, freeing us from this demonic energy, clarity of thought, passion, new opportunities as it pertains to something that we're very passionate about, new beginnings. Yeah, Swords is the mind. Freedom of our thoughts, freedom of our. My computer keeps messing up, guys. I'm doing the best way I can. But, um. The Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords also signifies a change in our. I mean, a breakthrough in our thought process, in how we speak, how we think in our passions and how we pursue our passions and that's what brings upon the change freeing us from bondage and in a dramatic way freeing us from bondage in an exponential way so again this is just something else telling us to change our thoughts change our thoughts change our lives i just want to pull some more and i think this is also attuning to the thoughts with the two of swords you know Making a choice and choosing the right thoughts. And as I was shuffling and my computer froze, two fell out. Knight of Cups, Five of Cups, Five of Wands. Three of Wands. Our will. This is a motivational message today. Feeding off probably Feeding off my energy of bondage, probably. But with the Knight of Cups and the and the Five of Swords, sorry, Five of Wands. <clears throat> Again, five the number of change. So we're a bit, we're being advised to change something. Then five Knight of Cups is offers, and the Five of Cups missed opportunity. Choosing to turn around, focus on the opportunities that we have available to us instead of being, I was saying, being focused on the opportunities that we have available to us and that we want to manifest instead of being conflicted by the opportunities that we no longer have. So I'm just going to leave it at that because my computer is messing up. So I'll just leave the reading here before it messes up again. Word of the day or message of the day, change our thoughts, change our lives. Focus on what we would like to manifest instead of focusing on what we don't want to manifest or that we don't like that has already manifested. Positive thoughts, positive vibe, changing negative thoughts to positive thoughts creates a double up situation, creates blessings, opens the door for spirit to move on our behalf in our lives. It's almost like opposite day. You have a negative thought, speak the opposite. Instead of saying I'm tired, saying I have overflow of energy. Instead of saying I'm broke, saying I'm blessed, I'm abundant. Uh, energetic flow of the universe currency is flowing to me right now speaking energy and life into ourselves instead of the the speaking energy and light into ourselves instead of the inverse anyway i'll leave it there thank you for watching liking subscribing commenting you are all the best i wish you all love light and more light peace thank you for watching don't forget to visit ashleygillard.com that's a-s-h-l-e-y G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D dot com to book a tarot reading. You can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life.
Peace.